Today we're talking about radon, guys, and what that is and what it means to you as a resident here in Colorado. So stay tuned, we're going to talk all about it. Hey guys, I'm James Dean, team leader of the James D. Mountain Homes team. Thank you so much for watching these videos. Just really quick before we get into the meat of this video, I just wanted to make sure if you haven't done so already, hit that subscription button down below, hit that notification bell. That keeps you updated on all the new videos that we have coming out weekly. And uh, we've got several that come out each week um, on this channel. So please, please stay up to date with that. Also, if you've got any questions whatsoever that are real estate related or just in the community, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and give us a call. You can either call us at 719-266-2725 five you could text us to that number as well or you can email us at info at jdmret.net please whatever you got to do to get those questions to us please ask we're here to help we're here to provide value to you and in helping you make informed decisions whether you're looking to buy or sell real estate or just typical questions for the community out here we are local experts of this area and we love this area so please 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 reach out to us and we hope you guys enjoy this video okay so radon so i'm gonna preface this with when i first moved here 10 years ago I was like, what in the world is radon? And a lot of folks still coming in have no idea what it is as well, depending on where they're coming from. When we first came in, it was one of those things that was like, well, you know, maybe if you want it, you can get it. You know, it's we're really still not sure. It's just a little kind of weird thing. And I, and I don't know the scientific data behind all this stuff. I'm just going to tell you the facts that I know. What we've moved into now within our real estate communities is radon has become a norm for most buyers to test for and for them to to ask for mitigation on from the sellers if it has not already been done in the house. Now we have quite a few homes out here and I would say probably over 50% and that, I don't know, maybe that's a bad estimation, but from what I've seen, at least 50% that have radon mitigation already in them. Now what radon is, is it's a gas that naturally releases from decomposer granite. So as decomposer granite breaks down, radon gets released. Now, apparently you can find it all over the US. So it's it's all over the place out there, but here in Colorado specifically, with the amount of decomposing granite we have, it's more prevalent. And with the more efficient style homes that are being built now, that really lock in and you don't get those big drafts, you don't have the two inch gap in the wall that you can see outside in that releases all that warm air or lets all that cold air in. Since homes have gotten so much more efficient, it's also trapping that radon in. And this isn't just homes with basements, this is homes with crawl spaces or even a ranch on a slab that could potentially have this as well. Now, this has become so prevalent that new builds as of a year ago now have to put radon mitigation systems in all their new homes. They don't have to test for it, but they have to have a radon mitigation system in those. So this should start getting the wheels turning on where we're going with this. Now there's agents out there that completely disagree with my thought process on this. This is 100% my opinion. But I think that radon is gonna become one of those things that it's a requirement whenever you sell a home for a seller to have it done very, very soon. It's actually already happened in Nebraska. In Nebraska, if a home doesn't have radon mitigation, the seller is required to test for it. And if it tests higher than what the EPA says is allowable, then they have to put a mitigation system in there before it can, the house can transfer ownership. That's already happened in Nebraska. Now, Colorado is way more government controlled than Nebraska is. I'm shocked that Colorado hasn't done that yet, but I think it's coming. So as buyers, when you're looking through and you're looking at homes that don't have radon mitigation or even ones that do and you wanna get them tested just to make sure it's operating correctly, that's something you could definitely do. Now a radon mitigation system, what it does typically is there's a hole that's dug into the foundation and it goes into that space below the foundation where all that decomposer granite is and it basically sucks that air out or the radon gas out with a fan and then it dispels it up away from any opening windows. There's lots of rules and regulation on that. Now we've got inspectors that have to be certified and licensed on doing it as well, but that's what a radon mitigation does. Most inspectors will do radon, but they have to be licensed and certified in the state of Colorado to do it now. So that's something that's happened within the last year as well. So you can see how all this regulation is kind of building up to where I think it's gonna become mandatory before too long. Most buyers, I definitely recommend that you go, even if it's not a big deal to you on there, you might as well go ahead and get it checked and inspected because you could be the one that's paying for it when you sell the house 10 years from then. Even if it's not a big deal to you, 
it might be mandated later on. So why not go ahead and get it taken care of now so you don't have to pay for it later? On their sellers, it's just something you gotta know and understand. We're at that point right now where almost all buyers are gonna get it inspected anyways. And it really varies de depending on you know how many systems you need or how bad the radon is in an area as to how much it's gonna cost, but it can cost as low as about $1,000 to a couple thousand, depending on if there needs to be multiple systems placed in and how hard it is to get into it. Then you've got to, if you've got HOAs, you gotta get approvals and all that stuff through the associations as well to make sure that it's done correctly and it meets their parameters to so their architectural review committee on it. But that's radon in a nutshell, and that's what you should definitely look out for. Oh, and I probably should have said this at the beginning, but radon in general, it's, it's believed to be the second biggest causer of lung cancer in America, second to cigarette smoke um, and tobacco smoke that's out there. So don't ask me how they can tell that. I don't know. I don't know if they lock somebody in a house for 40 years and see if they get radon cancer or whatever else. I, I don't know. I don't understand how they do that. I'm not a scientist on it, but that's the facts that we're given on there as well. So hope you guys found this information helpful and I look forward to seeing you next time. Guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that video. And once again, before you sign off, make sure you hit that subscription button that notification down, bell down below. That will keep you updated on all the new videos that we have come out that are here to inform you and help keep you updated on what's happening here, both in the community and in real estate as well. And once again, too, if you've got any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call, 719-266-2725. You can text us at that number as well. Or you can email us at info at jdmret.net and we will get back to you as quickly as possible to answer all of those questions. We're here to serve you and we look forward to helping you soon.